Hi, my name is Mary, and this is a wig. You may have seen me wearing this wig on Sheer Genius at the beginning of the Elimination Challenge. I think it looks pretty nice, but some people didn't agree. I've lost all of my hair due to alopecia areata, an autoimmune disorder. I feel fine, I just don't have any hair, and it's not likely to come back. I'm making this video to share with other women experiencing hair loss a simple and comfortable alternative to wearing a wig. More and more, I'm just going out like this. But when I do want to wear something on my head, instead of enduring the discomfort of a wig, this is what I wear. This is a Turkish scarf. It's lightweight cotton. It has a floral pattern and it has hand crocheted edging. Here are some of the scarves that I wear. These are all from one particular seller online, but there are other sellers that, that have them. They all have crocheted edging, either flowers or little geometric designs, and different, different colors. They're very lightweight, and they have kind of a fun exotic look to them. Okay, so what you do is you take the square scarf, and you could do this tie with any square scarf. I like using these Turkish scarves because this edging forms a nice fullness around your face. And you take the scarf and fold it into a triangle, and then you place the center of the line on your forehead about where you want the scarf to end up, in the middle. and. I put it right about midway between my eyebrows and my hairline, or what was my hairline, like that. And then I'm going to take the two ends and cross them in the back. You don't have to make a knot there, just cross it like that. And then it comes back up around the top, like this. Now without a mirror to look in doing it, it's easier with a mirror. I'm going to go adjust it in a mirror, but I'm just going to make one little tie. In other words, after I've brought it around the back, I'm going to tie it once up here. So when I've got it on like to this point, and I've just tied the one knot up here, what I can do is pull the fabric so that some of the flowered area that these scarves have shows and provides some contrast on the side of the scarf. Also, I'm going to take these little crocheted flowers and pull them out so that they show and they provide that fullness around the face that I like. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the scarf out like this. Just pull some of it out and that provides some fullness to the head and from the front as well. And again, this is a heck of a lot easier with a mirror. So it's, it really goes pretty quickly once you get used to it. Okay, so I've pulled out some of the scarf this way. And I have gotten the fabric showing the flowers right there, the floral pattern. And I've pulled the little crocheted flowers out. Then if I want to wear it like this, with this piece hanging down in the back, I'm done. I just need to tie one other knot right here carefully pulling the flowers through, and then tucking that end underneath. Again, pulling the little crocheted flowers through so that they show. Now, you can also pull it a little bit right here above your ears so that it's comfortable, so it's not fitting too tight over your ears. And then the final step, and what I like to do with them when it's warm, is I'm going to take this little tail that's hanging down back here, and I'm going to just tuck it underneath this crossed over fabric from the two ends of the scarf. It's very simple, and it gets it up off your neck, and again I'm going to pull the fabric out to give it that fullness. I can adjust this down to pull it down my neck a little, tuck the little crocheted flowers that are dangling, in. And then I come back to the front, and if I've got all the fabric pulled out as loose as I want it, 
I want to make sure that the tied ends are not too far back on my head like this. I like it to be just about there, just about where my hairline would have been, the place that I end up tying. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to take the remaining ends, as we did before when we left the scarf hanging, tuck them under here, and that's it. So this is another one of the scarves that I've put on um, in the mirror very quickly. This is the black one. And you can see how the floral pattern on the side can be brought out to provide contrast there. But going bald is the best alternative when it's warm or you're being physically active. You want to feel that breeze on your scalp the way you did when you had hair. And wearing a wig, you certainly don't. And even in a nice lightweight scarf, you don't get that release of heat. I've been going out more and more lately, just like this. Now we see guys everywhere, bald. And we think that they look sexy, they look handsome, they look trendy. I think if more women who have experienced hair loss went out in public this way, it wouldn't be such a big deal. Yeah, I'd rather have my hair back. I miss it. But the reality is, it's not coming back, and I'll probably look like this the rest of my life. So my attitude is, why not be comfortable? Please share this video with anyone you know who might benefit from it, and thanks for watching.